All right. Now, uh, Diana says she'll always be the winner in her relationship. Diana, what? Diana, what's going on? All right, Jerry, let me tell you. My boyfriend is, oh my gosh, he is amazing at bowling. That is his hobby. He He's is amazing a, at bowling. He is amazing at bowling. He is a high roller bowler. Whoa. He is. He is fantastic. Okay, so he's on this league, and they're called Strike Force. I mean, this group, yeah, Strike Force. Yes. This group is fantastic. I mean, they're winning competitions. They're bringing home money. They're bringing home trophies, all sorts of prizes. I mean, okay. they are they are one of the best bowling yeah. leagues I've ever seen. Okay. Well, that, okay. Yeah. And I mean, they've got three or four guys on this team, and they need one more female. And I think I should be that female. I'm not bad at bowling myself. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Well, I'm on your side, just seeing you. Well, I, I'm glad. I, when I see you, I think bowling. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm yeah. going for. Yeah. But so, anywho, here's the problem. Yeah, so the what's problem. the problem? The problem is he wants my friend Macy to be on the team. Oh. Is she a good bowler? I guess. Well. I don't think so. I think I'm a little better. But, I mean, I wouldn't have an issue with it if I wouldn't have found out a few months ago that while I was at work, she had kissed him. Oh, oh, See. that's worse than a spare. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, it upset me a little bit. Yes. I'm not okay with that. No. So. So when you told him about that, you know, said, hey, I heard you kissed her. Oh, what did he say? He just said, oh, it doesn't mean anything. No, you was... know, I, I only have feelings for you. It's a one-time thing. It was in yeah. the moment. You know, the same excuses every guy gives. Yeah. No offense to guys out there. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, me and Macy have been in competition for years. We have oh. been friends since we were little. Oh, I see. We so. were in competition over which guy we can get. Yep. I mean, in high school, we were in competition over whose grades were better. Yeah. We played sports growing up. I mean, we were always competing over who got the head spot. Yeah. I mean, we got into a fist fight over a Monopoly board game. I'm dead serious. Okay, we were so coming. now you're competing over this. And, oh, yeah. But if this is your boyfriend, how long have you been with him? I've been with him for two years. Yeah, so it's a serious relationship. It really is. Do you is. guys live together? We do. We've lived together for the past year and a half. Okay. So is it possible that really was just an innocent thing? He yeah, I mean, we've, we've moved past it. Me and her are still yeah. friends. She's like my sister. Yeah. But, you know. So why it's are you here? I am here because I want to let DJ know that I'm not okay with him, you know, picking her. One, I'm his girlfriend, and I'm not bad at bowling. I should yeah. automatically be his first choice. Yeah. Yeah. I like that attitude. Well, let's meet DJ right now, and I'll let you make your plea to him. Here's DJ. Why would you oh. even pick her? Okay, obviously, I should be the one there. She's just a better bowler than you are. Oh. 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 Okay, you think so. My average is like 80 to 115. Oh. Well, her average is 150. Oh. Uh, okay, okay that's better. Yeah, but I know that in every other sport we have played, I have always kicked her ass. She has better technique than you do. She knows how to wipe off bowling balls. She, 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 She's got the right shoes. Do you see what I get? He's always putting me down. For the past two years, he has done nothing but put me down. His habits are You're annoying. You're picking her because you like the way she wiped the ball? Yeah. She wipes the ball damn good. You better hope you're talking about bowling. I mean, Dude, what... Has anything gone on between you and her? Uh, yes. Um, back in the day, we, uh, there was a car show, and you didn't want to go. I had to work. What happened? Well, we got there, we watched some cars, we watched some races. Uh, there was a wet t-shirt competition going oh, on. Oh, no. I know where this is going. Oh, I could win at that, too. She joined the wet t-shirt competition, oh. but she had this great big old boobs, and they just, <laughs> they just popped. And I just fell with for them. I mean, that was big. Is that all you care about, is the way that she looks? Do you not like the way I look? Are my boobs not big enough for you? No. I know, my ass is better. So now we're talking about not just the bowling balls, but... Yeah, about some watermelons. Well, let's meet this Macy.
a 150 average at bowling. You honestly think you're better than me? Oh, I know I could prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Let's play some pantyhose bowling. Yeah! What? What is? What is pantyhose bowling? Yeah! Well, pantyhose bowling is basically. How do these guys know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You put a ball in the pantyhose. Put it on your head. If you don't have enough money, you can play this instead of bowling. And are you saying that the winner, are you okay with that? The winner you will pick then to be on your bowling team. Oh yeah. If I win, I'm on the team and you back off. And if, if you win, I'll back off from you, your boyfriend and the team. Oh, Bring it wow. on, bitch. That seems really fair. Now, what is this? So they're the pins, and you have to... Take the tennis ball. Yeah. Hit the pins down. Whoever gets them all down. That's your line, and this is her line. Yes. Okay, this looks fair. Yeah. <laughs> On your mark. I mean, yeah, okay. Get it. Oh, go. Oh my gosh, well done.